Hi, this is Will Chan from Rancher Labs, and today I'd like to show you how to set up your own swarm cluster within a rancher environment. To do this, I'm going to go to Rancher's Environment Management screen, as you see here, and add a brand new environment. As you know, Rancher already supports multiple container orchestration options, such as the default cattle engine, Kubernetes, and now Swarm. So here I'm going to click Swarm, give it a Swarm name for the environment. And for this particular instance, I have GitHub enabled. So I'm going to invite the entire Rancher Labs organization as a member of this environment, so they can also manage the same Swarm environment I'm about to create. Uh, looks like it's done. So I'm going to go to the top right and swap to my new Swarm environment that I just created. Now, the first thing I'm going to do with any new environment is, of course, to add new hosts for my containers. To do this, I'm going to click the Add Host button. And using Rancher's integration with Docker Machine, I'm going to select DigitalOcean, give it a name, select two hosts. Add my access token and click create. Now, if I click the infrastructure link, you should see two swarm hosts being currently set up on DigitalOcean. Now that I have two hosts up and running, quickly see that Rancher has automatically deployed the swarm cluster. I'm going to jump to the swarm tab, and you also see that I have empty projects and empty services. If you've ever used Docker Compose, these two concepts should be fairly familiar. Now there are multiple ways to deploy Docker images through Swarm. For this video, I'm gonna actually select one from the Rancher catalog. I'm gonna select Ghost. And you can see that this catalog item is really a very simple Docker Compose YAML file that describes the Ghost image. I'm gonna click Launch. And through Swarm, we'll launch a ghost projects consisting of a ghost service and a ghost container. I can also go to a Rancher CLI tool that we have and allow you to do native Docker commands like Docker PS. And you also see that I have this ghost container running. I can also go back to the infrastructure page and you'll see that this ghost container is running on my Swarm2 host. And if I take the IP of the host, open up a new browser, and you'll see that the Ghost app is running. This concludes this video about creating a Swarm cluster and launching Docker containers through Swarm for your environment. Thank you.